Hey there, I'm Richard from ShootingRichard.com. I'm a video producer and director, and I'm also the author of Dust to Innocence and In a World, How to Make Book Trailers That Sell More Books. In my never-ending quest to rid the world of abysmal book trailers, I'm going to answer one of the questions I get asked all the time. Can a book trailer actually help you sell books? No. No, it can't. Unless it's done right. You've heard by now that you should really be thinking of book trailers not as movie trailers for your book, but as commercials for your book. And if you think like that, then the question becomes, are commercials actually effective? And of course, the answer is yes. No, 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 wait, there's more. Of course book trailers are effective, but there are a couple key ingredients that you need in order to make them work. So let's talk about how we can make sure your book trailer doesn't become ineffective or even invisible. Seems harsh, but it's true. Overall, your book trailer should be of pretty high quality. That means it looks good, it sounds good, it has good acting, it has good direction, it has good graphics, the story should be tight and strong and engaging, and it, overall it should just look professional. If not, people may associate a bad book trailer with a bad book. Get some honest feedback from some good friends. Make sure they don't know much about the book and you can trust what they're gonna say. It's also got to... Ultimately, your trailer is a sales tool. So does it make a good case for why readers should spend their hard-earned moolah on your book? Hey, Hello. How you doing? You say Not just that, but have you convinced your viewer that they need your book? That they've got to get it right now? This is both in the writing and in the execution. You could have the coolest looking book trailer in the world, but if it doesn't make the case for why I should buy the book, then it's just some cool thing that I watched. One issue you may be having is that it's too long. The longer it is, the fewer people are gonna click on it. So make sure you've whittled it down to the absolute most essential information. You also wanna make sure that you haven't made it so short that it's confusing. People either don't know it's a book or don't understand the content of the trailer. So if your view to click ratio is really low, it might be that. People also have to be able to find it, so you have to make sure it's in the right. That's right, it can't just be out there in the ether on some obscure website. People have got to be able to find it, to search for it, and ideally, to be able to stumble upon it. Along these same lines, once somebody has watched the book trailer, they've got to know where they can actually buy the book. The best way to do this is with a simple, easy to understand Exactly. Maybe you do have that CTA, but there's no sense of why I should buy the book right now. What you really want to add is a sense of immediacy. You can do this by adding a screen at the end that says something along the lines of that it's on sale, that there's a deal going on, that it's a limited time offer, something that adds some pressure for the person to either get this now or they'll miss out. Fair question. A book trailer helps you sell books in a myriad of ways. Some of them are direct, like people clicking on your actual call to action, and some of them are less direct. Trailers sell more books because they expose you to new audiences, especially online. You're able to reach people in places where they're not looking for books, but they see that and they will remember next time that they see a book. You're also able to reach people who may never even look for a book, but now all of a sudden they go, oh, that looked really good, maybe I should buy that. Trailers show off the quality of your writing and ideally the quality of your book. So a high quality trailer will impress upon a viewer that the book is probably high quality and really good. It also goes with popularity. If you have a lot of views, then people associate that with a lot of people who liked your book. So they're more likely to pick your book than someone else's when they're up next to each other. And they're also more likely to remember your book when they see it on the shelf. Trailers serve as extra content to help hype up your book or a book launch or some kind of event. They'll get people to sign up, to pre-order, or to sign up for a newsletter, and that all leads to more sales. They're a great tool for interesting bloggers and reviewers and other people who are gonna post about your book. 
Bloggers and reviewers are thirsty for content, so if they have something visual that they can share with all of their readers, they're much more likely to do a story about you than they are about somebody who doesn't have any kind of marketing material, particularly video. They're a hook for people to sign up for your newsletter, to go to your website, and to otherwise get in your sales funnel and get in your world where they can learn more about you and always keep you top of mind when they're thinking about books. And don't forget the real world. Trailers are great for live events and point of sales, such as writing conferences and festivals. People are drawn to the table in the same way that a fly is drawn to that big blue light. They have to see what the trailer is all about, and that's gonna really pull them in from the crowd. A trailer can also help legitimize you at something like a book signing or a book launch event. People are more likely to approach, they can learn a little bit about your book without having to ask awkward questions or like interface in person. And it gives you a sense of professionalism. When people see the trailer, they'll wanna come over, and now they're gonna feel a little bit more pressure to actually buy the book, because they already know what it's about, they're already excited about it just by seeing that video. It caught their attention, and now they're like, hey, I can trust this person is gonna tell me a good story. Trailers can even work in a sales display at somewhere like a bookstore or a retail venue. Of course not. There are so many ways that a book trailer can lead to more sales that I can't possibly list them all. Just be creative and you'll see that like creative use of a book trailer will really help push those sales numbers up and it will really help introduce people to you as an author and to your books. But if you wanna hear more ideas, or you want an in-depth look at how to make a really good book trailer, you can get my book, In a World, How to Make Book Trailers That Sell More Books. You can get that twirly downy thingy down here somewhere, along with signing up for the Shooting Richard newsletter, which will bring you tips, tricks, and bonus content, you know, every couple months or so. Like and subscribe and do all the youtube -y things so that you know when videos come out. Most importantly, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.